Now, what are the uses for convex and concave lens? As you are aware of the properties now. So, convex lens are used in optical instruments like projectors, like camera, like telescopes, like this. It is used, uh, sorry, not telescope. It is used in uh, optical instruments like camera, uh, mag as magnifying glass, in search lights, and uh, uh, this thing, uh, camera, and all. And second, it is used as a reading glass because it magnifies the image. So, it is used as a reading glass also. It is used in spectacles also for correcting which disorder? The long sightedness. Long sightedness is a disorder in which a person can see far off clearly but cannot see nearby clearly. This we will be taking up in the another unit. And uh, use of concave lens, it is being used in the telescopes and it is also used in spectacles like it is used in correcting long sightedness this is used in correcting the short sightedness short sightedness is that where a person can see nearby clearly but cannot see far off clearly i too have short sightedness and uh, if we talk of the difference between concave and the convex lens now so we see that the convex lens is thicker from middle as compared to the edges but uh, concave lens it is thinner from the middle as compared to the edges edges are comparatively thicker it is the converging lens as we have already discussed that uh, if the rays are falling on it it just make the rays meet at one point and if the rays are falling on it it split the rays in different direction so it is a diverging lens it forms virtual image, erect image and magnified image. It forms virtual erect image but the image is of smaller size. The, uh, it has a real focus as you can see the rays are actually meeting. Here the rays are not actually meeting, they appear to meet. So it has a virtual focus. So this is what about the concave lens and the convex lens, I think you got it. See the correct way to learn this chapter is that that uh, first learn about the lenses. Before you do the lenses, uh, it's your, I think it will be more easy if you go through a chapter which you did in 7th standard that is the uh, reflection where you learned about the mirrors and all. Because once you are familiar with the mirror, they are very, very, very easy actually. So when uh, you are familiar with that, so it is a right hand task of uh, yours to do this lenses. So this is what about the refraction through lenses. Thank you.